it's Natalie Christine of the Natalie Christine Show, and today I'm here with you with my very first tutorial. Um, I'm really excited about it because it's something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that's ice cream. And um, today I will show you the basics on how you can paint your very own. So with these techniques and tricks that, well, not so many tricks, but with these techniques I will be showing you the basics of how you can paint your very own soft serve ice cream cone. Um, just keep in mind that the tools and techniques are just suggestions and you could just use them to make your very own and make it your own. Um, so basically I'm just teaching you the basics and don't get mad at me if you feel like you could do it better because you, maybe you can. I don't know. So with that, let's begin. For this tutorial you're going to need paintbrushes of various sizes, either a gallery wrap canvas like I'll be using for this tutorial, some canvas paper, or a canvas panel, a palette or plate for the paint, a container of water, a towel, an ice cream cone to look at for a reference, and this is actually a clay model. I don't recommend using the real ice cream cone because it's gonna melt and make a mess, obviously, so just use an image like I'm going to be using. Last but not least, our acrylic paint. We'll be using black, white, and a brownish color. For the background, we'll be using this kind of crafty paint in a green shade. And then for the detail work, some more acrylic paint in a fuchsia color. So we're ready to go. Have everything that we need for our, for our tutorial today. And we're gonna take our large acrylic paint, our, our large brush and dip it in the water. And then we have this towel here and I like to just kind of get a little bit of paint on it but, or not paint, I like to get a little bit of water just to loosen the bristles. We can let it soak for a little bit and we're gonna put this stuff, this greenish paint on our palette. And we're just gonna cover it. You don't want to have too much water or it's just it's it'll be a lot streakier than this or it's going to be too runny so you'll know you have too much water in your acrylic paint if it's too runny so i kind of feel like at that point i do so i'm going to wash off my brush and then really kind of dry it a little bit that's the thing that i don't really like about this craft paint it's a little bit too runny it's not my favorite but it's fine, that'll do. See, I got a lot of water in there. But you know what, it could be kind of cool, like a cool texture, and alterna alternatively, you can take a sponge and like add some texture. And we can use the brush strokes to give it texture. So we'll let that sit for a second. So it's, I already feel like it's starting to dry. So uh, let's go into what we're going to need for our ice cream cone. We're going to need white for sure, and we're going to need black. And the thing about black is, like, don't, I already, it's already too much black. It's like this amount of black right here. Let's see if you can see. It's already too much. You don't need that much black. I'm going to have a lot of leftover paint, and it'll be pretty sad because I won't be able to use it. So... We're just gonna go around and uh, kind of do the outline of our ice cream cone. Um, I've, I wasn't classically or per, I didn't take painting classes, so if you feel like I'm doing it wrong, sorry, I don't know any better. I didn't learn. I didn't learn to paint in school. So um, I just go around and kind of do a basic outline. Let's see here, if you can see this. Basic outline of the shape of the ice cream cone. And if I mess up, I'm okay with it because I could just go over it in more paint. And so that's how I kind of look at it with these paintings. Like don't, don't stress, it's gonna be okay. If you mess up with painting, you could just cover it. Okay, so I've gone in and I've started to outline the basic shapes that you'll need within this cone. And it's not like, it's not going to be incredibly detailed and 
if you feel like, okay, Natalie, this is like a dumb shape of an ice cream cone, whatever, you could go in and change it up, because it's just paint, it's not a big deal. And I'm using just the photo as a basic reference. Now we can go in with a little bit of our white, and we're gonna go in with kind of a, what size is this? This is a 10, I don't know, 10 size brush, size 10 brush. And we're just gonna go in with the white a little bit. Again, very basic, like just use this as your guide. You can take it to the next level with more detail, but we're just showing you the base. I'm just showing you the basics today. There's no one else here. It's just me and these two cameras. So strange. I hate taping by myself. Ugh, it's the worst. Anybody else like that? They need to talk to someone when they're taping? Okay. Just kind of have the basic like look of an ice cream cone. I'm gonna go in with our flesh yellow, which also happens to be the color that I use when I do self-portraits, because it's basically the same color as me. Don't need that much. I'm gonna go in with that same 10 brush. These are just cheapy brushes. I don't really have anything that expensive for my painting. Just a little bit of water and paint. I'm gonna go over it. And when you don't let it, your paint dry completely, obviously it's gonna mix still. So it's kind of cool, like a different kind of brown. It's a little bit black mixed into it. So now we're just kind of building up at this point. Just build up, oops, got some green in there. Just building layers. If you, as you notice, my technique is I don't like to draw out what I'm painting. It's weird, I don't like pencils. I kind of hate them. So we've built up some of the white on there, the brown. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of the detail. So we're just following the lines. Like people get hung up on stuff, like, oh, I can't do that. How do you make things look whatever? Just pay attention kind of to what's going on in the photo or whatever you're painting. Um, Ice cream cone, I mean, if it's like vanilla flavor, it's not all white. It has some darkness in it with the shadows, so just pay attention to that. And it's not going to be perfect. We just want to give the illusion. That's all that painting and drawing is. It's just kind of an illusion of shadows because the shadows are not really there. Wow. See? Now you're getting it. Just remember, guys, I believe in you. Just use this as a, a guide. I was not classically trained, which you probably can tell. So just like outline it with some black. I'm gonna save this spot for some other stuff. I'll show you in a second. It's a little trick. It's not even a trick. Just Go over like some spots with a little bit more black. Again, we're not doing a super detailed job, but it still looks like an ice cream cone. Like people would still think that's cute. I think it's cute. So I'm gonna take the magenta color. Put a little bit of dab on there. Dab, right there. Use this pointy 10 brush, wipe it off on your towel. Take some of the magenta, and we wanna do, like it's still wet, so it's kind of mixing, but we're gonna do a cute little wrapper on the end of it, because I did a cute wrapper on mine. It's a short little ice cream cone, but it's your short little ice cream cone. detail if you want you can keep it not detailed do whatever you want that's the thing about art art is anything you can get away with okay I'm gonna go back in with this green background paint just like kind of clean up the edges the white is good there's more black 
see, you don't really need that much black. It's just like a tiny bit of black that you need. So here, we'll outline it there, outline that there. And the, like, the more you let it dry, the cleaner the finish will be. Like, this is still wet. So, it's not gonna be perfect. But it'll blend more. Okay, yeah, that's cute. If you're probably like, oh my gosh, this is the worst ice cream cone. I can paint ice cream cones. I'm just trying to do it like give you the basics on how you can do it. This takes a little bit of time, more time than like 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see? Okay, like I said, just build up those layers. Ooh, I'm gonna add some white to the background. If you wanna clean it up, just, yeah, go over it again. Not a big deal, ain't no thing. Can completely change the background color too if you hate it. Again, with the black. Again, I'm not a professional necessarily, I just trial and error. How's it look? Oh, that's cute! Basics, just the basics. So basic. We have a ton of white, so we might as well use it. As it dries, just add more. Always add more paint. So I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Again, just keep building it as you go along. Um, this is very, like, just very, uh, expression blah 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 I obviously don't know that much about art I guess because I can't even think of what it's like but um yeah it's cute okay it's fine use this as just a guide to get you going um I know you can make something a lot more detailed than this this is just something that I kind of threw together just to give you the basics of what you would need to get a project like this going I'm gonna sign my name do it in black. No, yes, in black. For some reason, I haven't really been able to sign my name too well lately. Oh, it's too big. <sighs> Whatever. This is just a basic thing. Uh, it's Natalie Chris now. That's fine. So this is a finished product. And I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and um, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'm going to leave you guys with a thought. Did you know that baby carrots are actually not uh, made, they're not grown as baby carrots. They are large carrots made to be baby carrots. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my show if you want to keep watching and never miss an episode. And please take a look at the description box for more information on my various social media accounts. Thank you. Bye.